over the course of two decades, I've uh, collected quite a lot of rocks from the area. There's a nice agate. Lots of uh, copper mineralization in uh, some parts of this place. Now, there is an interesting story. That's a fossil. And it comes from a local place uh, around here. It's a very difficult drive and an extremely difficult hike up to where the trilobites are. But these are Olinellus, <coughs> and that's from the early Cambrian, about 530 million years ago. Just when the Cambrian explosion of life was starting, there's a fossil. Let's see if I can show you the trilobite on there. It doesn't like to focus, huh? Let's see if I can get it to focus on something. There. So there's the trilobite head. These cameras are incredible. This is very low light level conditions, believe it or not. But it's a great time to film. I imagine th this came from um, an agate region where there was silicated, you know, secondary silication. Um, a big lava flow. And I imagine those, I don't know what the bubbles are. Maybe they're just air bubbles. And this came from deep inside of a volcanic kind of mountain. And it's full of um, mineralization quartz. It's uh, in the daylight, it's a little bit blue like uh, chalcedony. Here's some, uh, here's a beautiful quartz crystal that I found near a mine. This, I think, was in their um, high-grade pile <laughs> for good reason. Been collecting rocks out here. I don't really know what they are. I mean, I can make some intelligent guesses, but it's not worth the trouble. Um, obviously, the azurite and malachite are copper minerals. There's more copper. There's a lot more copper. All of these from uh, local mines around here. And um, they're, they're all beautiful to me. Even if I don't know what I got, 